What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today, guys, what I have for you is some information regarding Team of the Year here in Madden 15. Now, guys, if you're unfamiliar with what Team of the Year is, this is something that EA has been doing in other games, specifically FIFA, for a few years now. And basically what they do is they kind of compile a list of players who... I guess uh, I don't exactly know how they come about determining exactly who is going to be on the list, but it's basically a, a combination, as I understand it, of players who had a great season, but maybe don't have the best of cards so far. So some of these players, you would probably think there might be a player who might deserve it a little bit more than them. But at the same time, though, you have to also consider that some of those players might have higher overall items than what the team of the year is going to give them anyway. So, anyway, I want to show you guys who is going to be the team of the year this year here in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. So, let's hop right into it. I got this information from a few different sources, so... Don't shoot the messenger if it's wrong. I apologize in advance. Uh, I got this from both Reddit as well as Twitter. But as you're seeing right now on your screen, this is your offensive team of the year. And they're referring to it as a sneak preview preview right now because they haven't officially announced it, I guess. EA themselves hasn't, but like I said, it's been announced on numerous sources at this point, so as far as I'm uh, understanding it, this is the actual team. So at left tackle, you have Jason Peters, left guard, Clint Bowling, center, Travis Frederick, Dallas Cowboys represent, baby, Marshall Yonda from the Baltimore Ravens at right guard, Sebastian Vollmer at right tackle, then you've got Greg Olson at tight end, Wide receivers are Antonio Brown and Jordy Nelson, and then you're going to have big Ben Roethlisberger at quarterback and DeMarco Murray at halfback. Now, of course, like I said, guys, there are players who probably might deserve to be on this list over other guys. You know, some people might point to Le'Veon Bell, who had a great season. Um, some people might point to Des Bryant at wide receiver, and then obviously at quarterback, there's a bunch of guys. Tom Brady, there's Aaron Rodgers, there's uh, Andrew Luck, who probably deserve to be here more than Ben Roethlisberger, but like I said, those guys all have great cards already, so I'm not really too worried about that. Also, uh, rookie from the Dallas Cowboys, Zach Martin at right guard, you could have made a case for him, but I'm glad to see that Marshall Yanda is getting a little bit of publicity, I guess you could say, because he had an excellent season this year, uh, absolutely deserves to be here in the team of the year, in my personal opinion. So uh, now that we've taken a look at the offense, let's take a look at the defense. And what we have here is uh, starting at the free safety position in the top left corner of your screen, we're going to have Glover Quinn who checks in at 96 overall. Pretty impressive. Right outside linebacker, we have Elvis Doomerville, 95 overall. Luke Keekley is your middle linebacker. Now, this one I am a little bit surprised by because there are already some good Luke Keekley items, but maybe this one will be a little bit more attainable, possibly. I, I'm not exactly sure how these cards are actually going to be divvied out, but... Yeah, this is probably going to be one of the funner cards to user at the middle linebacker position. Luke Keekley's a beast. Then we've got Von Miller as your left outside linebacker. Kind of interesting that they went with two pass rushers for the outside linebacker positions, but I guess it kind of makes sense. Uh, if they're going off of football outsiders, a lot of times you're going to see some interesting analysis on exactly how they rank these players because pass rushing comes into play, tackling comes into play, even coverage comes into play. So, you know, it's it's hard to really determine who should be the outside linebackers, but it's hard to really argue against guys like Doomerville and Von Miller, who both did really well this year. Then at your strong safety, you're going to have Antoine Bethay and your two cornerbacks, Joe Hayden and Chris Harris Jr. Love to see Chris Harris getting some love. This guy is highly underrated, probably the best cornerback in the division right now, in my opinion. Moving on now, and we move over to the right defensive end position, we have Mario Williams. Defensive tackle is going to be Aaron Donald, and then a left defensive end, Calais Campbell. So overall, guys, a lot of fun players, a lot of guys who deserve to have upgraded items, and that's always good to see, rather than just your same guys over and over and over and over again. I mean, how many Richard Shermans can we have? How many Darrell Revises can we have? You know, how many Patrick Petersons, is, Petersons are we going to have? Guys like that, uh, I'm glad to see that we're getting some new guys like the Chris Harrises and, and the Antoine Bethes and, you know, Glover Queen and 
and and things like that. It's nice to see some of these guys, Aaron Donald, get a little bit of respect here in Madden Ultimate Team. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. Just like I said, wanted to give you guys the information while it's fresh. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button if you're new to the channel. Be sure to press the subscribe button so that you can be updated when I put out a new video. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I will talk to you guys again soon.